Hello and welcome back to the Charlotte and Zeke Shopping Network. Today is day three of our three day special on toys from our childhoods. If you've ever spent any time on our channel, chances are you know how much we love Pokemon. We were 90s kids, we grew up in peak Pokemania, it was basically inevitable. These are all very well loved toys from our childhoods that we simply don't have room to keep anymore. So if you're in the UK, or if you're finding ridiculous shipping fees, then check the links below for our eBay listings while you can. And now, with all that out of the way, <laughs> let's get... Pikachu is the face of the Pokemon series, and for a lot of people, the face of the 90s and 2000s. Pikachu is an electric mouse Pokemon, who lets loose jolts of electricity from his cheeks when needed, so obviously he makes the perfect room guard. Unfortunately, this Pikachu won't actually electrocute your little brother when he sneaks into your room to steal your pogs, but it is a motion sensor, and when something walks in front of it, it alerts you. This Pokeball game confused the hell out of me as a child. I had no idea how to play. As an adult, though, I have mastered the game's tilt controls. The aim of the games is to control your Pokemon dot to attack the other Pokemon dot. Pikachu, go! Pokemon, go! It's a pretty heavy device, probably due to the four AA batteries it needs, but it does come with a built-in support, so you can display it safely. That should hold, right? This Pikachu is fairly simple. Sporting his classic rotund figure and airbrushed white face that I think is to mimic the original watercolour artwork. This is a really nice model. On the base there are two metal nubs. You touch both the nubs with your fingers at the same time and a circuit completes and makes Pikachu... Say, Pikachu. Shocking, isn't it? You need to stay alert and be ready to slide into battle at any time. So grab your favourite Pokemon and start rolling. The rollers are a good way, and they're even sturdy enough to slam together. Nice bro. I never really liked slamming mine together though. I didn't want to scuff the paint. This Graveler and Nidorino are from the same set of Hasbro toys, and honestly, it's nice to see merchandise of less recognisable Pokémon. Being a rock-type Pokémon, it's no wonder Graveler comes with two toy boulders to throw at his opponents. Just place the rocks in Graveler's hands, push the body down, and... Hello? C can you hear me? These walkie-talkies bring that authentic radio wave static. Hold Pikachu or Meowth's hand to embark on a secret mission. As children, me and my sister would plan water gun attacks against the neighborhood kids. Looking back, not a wise move to bring electronics to a water fight. But with a hundred feet of range and a flexible antenna, the only limit was how far we were willing to go. During Pokemania, nothing could escape being pokemon TV, trading cards, cereal, and the Game Boy game, and the toys, the card game, comic books, and even sweets. You know, candy. Even with the original treat gone, these lollipop holders were great for protecting your sugary treats. Plus they have the added bonus of being playable figures. Perfect for little kids. I, I just collected them. Gotta buy them all! Picture this. You just got your new Charmander and Mew pull toys. Your family's got a new laminate flooring. What a perfect place to race against your sibling. I was Charmander, and she was Mew, and we both got yelled at for scratching the new floor. To use, simply pull back and build up friction with the rubber-coated wheels, then release for extreme speed. Next up, we have some vintage Pokemon figures featuring Pikachu, Golduck, Cyndaquil, Cyndaquil, Mistrevus, Clefable, Psyduck, Totodile, and Goldeen. And you gotta catch them all! Catch them, catch them! These classic Pokemon figures started showing up in playgrounds around 1999, and from the moment I first saw one, I was completely enamoured with them. Back in the 90s, 3D was still kind of a novelty, so being able to see your favourite Pokemon in 3D was new and exciting. Especially if you were a weird kid like me who liked drawing Pokemon. Being able to draw Jigglypuff from above was a game changer. Here's a collection of adorable battery powered figures featuring Mew and everyone's favourite eggs, Togepi and Jancy. 
The toys are all similar in function. They send changes in light or sound, similar to the Pikachu room guard. Chansey will... Chansey is broken, kinda. See, the power button has broken off of it, but it was, as far as we're aware, electronically working. We just can't get any footage of it. Sorry. Autopa P wiggles around using its metronome attack. The Mew is the odd one out here. Not having any moving parts, it reacts to the changes in light and plays a sound. Mew quickly became our dog B's favourite Pokemon. These little guys are ready to light up your life. Or, or at least your keys. By turning the base, the figures glow a bright red through their opaque body. We believe all the figures are still in working order, we just don't know how to change the batteries. Here we have the odd mons out of the video. These figures of Yami Yugi, Seto Kaiba, and the legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon. These guys are action figures. That a more figure, less action. That didn't stop me as a child though from shooting everything with the Blue Eyes White Lightning. Or seeing what Kaiba could smash with his karate chop action. And what about the main man Yugi? He's... he's got a necklace. Now, if you thought the Pokeball game was confusing, then get ready for the Cyclone 2 to blow you away. Even as an adult, I'm not really sure I'm playing this game right. The device comes with a collection of battle discs featuring various Gen 1 Pokemon in their glorious watercolor artwork. The battle discs have barcodes on the back that the device can read when the disc is spun. By pressing the P or K buttons on the device and spinning the disc in the correct direction, you can unleash powerful attacks. But the battles take a long time to complete. Honestly, our favourite thing about it is the artwork on the discs. Imagine a world where you could have all the Pokemon knowledge at your fingertips. On some sort of portable device. Crazy, I know. But if you dare to dream, you'll find the Pokedex. Featuring state-of-the-art 1-bit graphics and its iconic beep. This toy was on a lot of kids' wish lists. Which is why we both had one. The Pokedex has all 150 original Pokemon, with their information from the Game Boy games, and some unique animations for the Pokemon doing their attacks, such as Pikachu's Thunderbolt attack. Overall, it's a really high quality little gadget that's completely blown out of the water by our next item. This version of the Pokedex is an upgrade in almost every way imaginable, with a nicer UI, sprites, and animations for Pokemon all the way up to Slabby. But most importantly... Uh, the updated Pokedex has a lot more options too, making it similar to an electronic planner or diary, as well as all the previous functions of the original Dex. It's easily our favourite version of old Dexter. As a child, I like to save money, rather than spend it. So having this Ivysaur piggy bank was a dream come true. I would sit it next to my good luck charm Bulbasaur at night. Ivysaur doesn't have much space really, but it's easy to get your money back out of by using the screw plug on the bottom. Plus, it looks like a display figure, so no one would ever know it's a piggy bank. Here is a set of capsule collectibles made by Tomy in the year 2000. They came out around the time of the second Pokemon movie. I seem to remember getting them in the cinema. They don't do anything special, but they do look really cool in their little display domes. And for baby Charlotte, that's all it took for me to throw money at a machine. By far the largest item on today's list is this vintage electronic Lugia toy by Hasbro. Although it's very robust, the toy itself is quite simple. You can move its leg to make both wings flap, and you can push in one of Lugia's back spines to make it Godzilla scream. So Lugia's functions are, like I said, pretty basic. Roar, flap, roar again. But its size is the real selling point. It really helps Lugia stand out from the non-legendary Pokemon figures you might have. Now before moving on to our final and most exciting item of the day, we just wanted to remind you that these items are going to be listed on eBay, and to act fast if you're interested in anything. And finally, our last item of the day is...
Oh, God damn it. Do you record over my tape? Charlotte, 